Mr. Peter Gregory Obi was born on July 19, 1961 and grew up in Onisha, where he currently lives. Obi is an accomplished and widely acknowledged thought leader in public policy, public service, good governance, international business, 21st century leadership and human capital development. He has held executive positions in the banking and financial sectors with resounding success and international acclaim. He has the record of youngest chairman of a very successful bank and has also held leading positions in several successful businesses. He was elected governor of Anambra State in 2006 and he deployed the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs, as state policy during his eight-year tenure. His state became number one in academic performance at the secondary level with a record improvement in male child enrollment, which was a major problem before his tenure. He was also the only state governor among his peers and, till date, who left substantial savings in Naira and dollars for his successor. He has never had any run-ins with the anti-corruption or security agencies before, during, or since after his involvement in business and public service and government. Though still a practicing politician focused on advocacy for responsible leadership, prudent national resource management and human capital, he spends his time on nationwide advocacy for capacity building and sustainable development through sound policies and prudent management of national resources. As a knowledgeable entrepreneur with wide interests, covering support for secondary schools and other institutions of learning all over the country and beyond, Peter Gregory Obi is well known for his strident mantra on why and how Nigeria should bring down the total overhead cost for maintaining people in public office. He attended Cambridge University UK, George Business School Advanced Leadership Program. Institute for Management Development, Switzerland, Breakthrough Program for CEOs, Harvard Business School, Boston, USA, Mid to Mid Marketing, Harvard Business School, Boston, USA, Changing the Game, London School of Economics, Financial Management and Business Policy, Columbia Business School, New York, USA, Marketing Management, Institute for Management Development, Switzerland, Senior Executive Program, Kellogg School of Management, USA, Kellogg Executive Scholar, Kellogg School of Management, USA, Corporate Governance, Kellogg School of Management, USA, Advanced Executive Program, Kellogg School of Management, USA, Global Advanced Management Program, Oxford University, UK, Side Business School, Advanced Management and Leadership Program, INSEAD, France, Leading from the Chair, Lagos Business School, Nigeria, Chief Executive Program, University of Nigeria, Unsuka, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy, Christ the King College, Onisha, for his WASC. 
He has held previous positions such as Chairman, Board of Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Chairman, Fidelity Bank PLC, Chairman, Guardian Express Mortgage Bank Limited, Chairman, Future View Securities Limited, Chairman, Paymaster Nigeria PLC, Chairman, Next International Nigeria Limited, Director, Guardian Express Bank PLC, Director, Chams Nigeria PLC, Director, Emerging Capital Limited, Director, Card Center PLC, Governor, Anambra State of Nigeria, Special Advisor to the President on Finance, Member, Presidential Economic Management Team, Vice Chairman, Nigeria Governors Forum from 2008 to 2014, Chairman, Southeast Governors Forum from 2006 to 2014, he has held membership of various federal government committees, such as Federal Government Committee on Minimum Wage, Federal Government Committee on Negotiation with Labor on Subsidy, Federal Government Committee on Mass Transit, Federal Government Committee on Natural Resource, National Economic Council Committee on Power Sector Reform, National Economic Council Committee on Sharing of Millennium Development Goals Funds, National Economic Council Committee on Accurate Data on Nigeria's Oil Import and Export, Agricultural Transformation Implementation Council, Subcommittee on Needs Analysis of Public Universities in Nigeria, National Economic Council Review Committee on the Power Sector. His Excellency, Mr. Peter Gregory B, is the recipient of several awards and recognition, such as 2020 This Day Newspapers Governor of the Decade Award, Nigeria Millennium Development Goals Office, UNDP, Best Governor in the Implementation of the Millennium Development Goals, 2015 Golden Jubilee Award from Catholic Diocese of Onisha for Outstanding Contribution to Quality Healthcare Delivery in St. Charles Borromeo Hospital in particular and Anambra State in general on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee celebration of the hospital. 2014, Nigeria Library Association Golden Merit Award for Remarkable Improvement of Libraries in Anambra State, exemplified by our government's construction of the Kenneth D.K. Digital States Library, remarkable upgrade of the Onisha Divisional Library, and provision of library facilities in secondary schools across the state. 2014 Champion Newspaper Most Outstanding Igbo Man of the Decade. 2014 The Voice Newspaper Holland Achievers Award for Outstanding Example in Leadership and Governance. 2013 Silver Bird Man of the Year with Governor Babatunde Fashola of Lagos State. 2012 Best Performing Governor on Immunization in Southeast Nigeria by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 2011, ZIC Leadership Prize. 2010, ICT Governor of the Year by the West Africa ICT Development Award. 2009, Champion Newspaper, Nigeria's Most Trustworthy Governor Award. 2009, This Day Newspaper, Most Prudent Governor in Nigeria. 2007, the Sun Newspaper Man of the Year Award as the youngest chairman of a very successful bank. 2023, the Sun Newspaper Political Icon of the Year Award. 2023, the Leadership Newspaper Politician of the Year Award. He belongs to several professional associations, such as the Nigeria Economic Summit Group, NESG, Nigeria Chartered Institute of Bankers, British Institute of Directors, IOD. Honorable members of the Board of Fellows of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, invited guests, it's my pleasure to present to you His Excellency, Mr. Peter Gregory B. C. O. N., former Governor of Anambra State, the guest speaker of the sixth public lecture of the Board of Fellows, Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria.
about 
Singapore is a bad mortality. We are achieving it in 2021. We are doing it in 2021. India is seven times our population. We are today in a bad mortality. Seven to two point two. The government and the global against the global average of 2020. Why all things? Everybody knows that no matter how healthy you are, you must go for checkup. Because most of the men, when you hear that people are 80 and 90, don't think it's by just anything. There were people who took care of themselves, who did well on everything. So when I go sick or your health, you will take up. And today, the measure of the war, my former man is about 90% to over 90% of doctors, consultations, or check up any precision appointment or the other. If we see them, they might tell you, okay, you're okay, but this is your hand. I used to tell you that there's something that is actually very worrisome in life that you don't know. When you are growing up, you are trying to make money so you can live a better life, so you can enjoy everything, and all that, and suddenly you don't have to have money. Everything you aspire to say, don't eat. Everything you want to enjoy, they say, don't eat. So, you now ask that, why did I want this time to acquire all this? What I can no longer do. That is where we are. So when I in the stage of them, because over 90% end up in one position or the other, it has become critical to prove to what you say. The pharmacy, the animal, is critical for one. Because if the animal is dead, you can't take it out for you. You about more. The first thing to ask me, are you prepared to answer that? Today our hour is empty and weak. And you cannot do anything. The variety of reasons, which is not from you, but because of the social economic environment in which we operate.
Today we will say, oh, 
you what they are saying. The only time they have help from government is chasing them for many people. Not only help. That is the only help. Why they should be your partner? The government has to empower them. They both from multinational companies and even. These are companies who have invested in facilities here. These are companies who, because of their global reach, are able to do research. They are able to train their people. They are leaving you and people are saying, let them stay go. Let's find the go. Who are they? These people are just, these are multinational companies that have reach where you can have experience, research, everything. They are in other countries. Just get to the global perspective of our Indian. All the entities, all the different people, because they invested and trained their people. That's what we should be doing. Train our people to compete. So, my dear people, that asset will come with your overall vision of governance, which is still lacking in Nigeria today. I'm very sorry to say, not because I'm not in government, but as I said, it will not come unless we vision that we know that health is not for what people do today. That's our education. And everyone has to start to invest in it properly. To start funding it properly. Today, your contribution to health, even in your budget, is less than 3%, less than 1% of your GDP. And don't worry, care. When there is a very guideline to do that, and we need to find it though. When they say Nigeria is supporting them for those objectives, they fight. And come back to the world. Nobody will visit any problem like that. The last problem like that I visited was an aspect of our project. They are the only ones who are. Today I went, they are 15 pregnant women to attend to one staff. The living room of those women. So you can imagine what that woman is doing. I don't know what that is, that is not okay. I'm going to feel for that they are going to feel for this one. And I'm going to make sure that I'm paying for this one. Because you said they are not going to pay for three months. It's only three minutes. And it's the same thing all over. Investing in small pharmaceutical health institutions is impossible. But I can't be asking this one school of nothing or school of infant that was such. Not one.